Zwift game update version 1.93 begins rolling out today across all supported platforms and the key feature of this update is some nice to have additional metrics in the HUD on screen that might save people from having to load other tools or devices to get the data they want while riding. So what's new? Well, there's a lot of new HUD metrics you can show on screen. So the core temperature sensor in degrees, also heat strain index, that does require a core temperature sensor to be worn. You can get weighted power shown on screen as well as left right power balance as a percentage as well as average speed. Now to enable these metrics you need to jump into the HUD tab of the settings menu in game. I'll dig a little deeper into the left right balance in a moment too. There's a few things to know about that one. Also in game update 193 is a new ride stats panel showing critical power for 5 seconds, 1 minute, 5 minute, 20 minute and 60 minute intervals. This panel will keep track of your rolling maximum averages and if you're currently in that maximum window the information shown on screen will be in orange. Now there are two additional configurable fields that can be selected for this ride stats panel too. Those can also be configured under the HUD tab of your settings in game. The ride stats panel will be shown in game when you have the lap or splits information on screen. Another quality of life update in 193 is a route badge completion indicator. You can now easily tell whether you've earned the route badge for the currently selected route by looking at the icon next to the route name below the minimap. The white icon indicates that you have not yet completed that route badge, and a green icon indicates that you have already earned that route badge. If a route does not currently have an accompanying badge, this icon will not be shown. And finally, in 193, some good news for those who have linked their outdoor rides to their indoor Zwift account. Your first indoor Zwift ride after an external activity earlier in the week will now show the streak screen and grant you the XP bonus. That was something that was reported quite widely on the forums. That's now fixed. There's a few other miscellaneous fixes and improvements in 193, nothing worth covering. So let's dig a little deeper into that left-right balance metric. Okay, left-right power balance. It's a pretty simple metric. It will tell you how balanced you are when you are pedaling your bike. Is it an important metric though? Nah, it's often debated. Most of the time it really doesn't matter until it does. But you'll only know if it does when you measure it. And you need to measure it five minutes into a ride, 50 minutes into a ride, maybe five hours into a ride where it will likely change. Nobody is always ever say 51 or 49. But measuring it correctly is difficult. For true and accurate pedal balance, you'll need a power source that truly and accurately measures power from your left and right legs. Now this rules out any single-sided power meter. Yep, they're not capable of this. This also rules out any smart trainer. They're also incapable of true left-right power balance. Some smart trainers may report an estimate within their own software, but it's just that, just an estimate. Some spider power meters will report left-right balance, but they're just guessing. It'll be close, usually it won't be accurate. Mm, not accurate enough. Here's a single leg drill with a spider power meter. Mm. So this leaves us with true dual sided power meter options such as power meter pedals and some crank arm power meters. But yeah, there's a lot of buts with this. Only if the crank arm power meter is equally accurate on left and right. And yeah, that. I've done a whole video series demonstrating the issues with the right side of that meter. So probably not great to use it for that meter. Okay, jumping ahead a little, this pretty much leaves us with power meter pedals. Now to show left-right balance in Zwift with this update, you'll need to pair a power meter to Zwift via Bluetooth. The power meter needs to report left-right balance, say something like these, the Asiema Pro RS2. Oh, and by the way, here is a single leg drill with the Asiema Pro RS2. Yeah, that's a little bit more like what I expect to see doing a single leg drill with true left right balance shown on screen. Now Zwift will also write the power balance data to your fit file, your activity, which can then be reviewed by other training analysis platforms such as Garmin Connect and Training Peaks. Zwift will also record the pedal balance to your activity even if you don't have the metric displayed, but have a power source paired, such as these, that does report power balance. Again, that has to be done over Bluetooth. All right, that's about it for 193. There's a lot going on in game this month with the Tour de France and the Tour de France Femmes Evec Zwift about to kick off too. So you're going to see a lot of yellow in game over the next few weeks. And with that, thanks for watching.